Keith, a very good morning to you. So great news on the property front. Tell us what it is that you're seeing. Morning, Jane. Uh, morning, viewers. Yeah, this is uh, quite unexpected. And uh, given where we are in terms of um, COVID, in terms of the economy, uh, what we're seeing at the moment uh, is something that nobody, I don't think, could have anticipated. Um, it's a tremendous increase uh, in volume of transactions um, taking place largely at the 3 million rand mark and lower. And it's based purely, uh, I believe, on the fact that we're um, enjoying at this stage the lowest interest rates that the country has seen in, in over 46 years. So with a 7% uh, prime uh, borrowing rate, uh, buyers are coming into the market. All right, and I believe new buyers and quite young buyers too. Yeah. Uh, in general, uh, first-time buyers were average age of around 37. We're now seeing them come in uh, at 35 uh, and younger. Uh, and what we're seeing is those uh, purchases coming with uh, secure employment are saying, right, this is a great time and a great opportunity for me to buy. Uh, the equivalent of what we've seen with the interest rate drops this year from 10% down to 7% means that a, a, a buyer can essentially for the same amount of rand leaving his wallet or her wallet uh, every month uh, they're in a position to buy 25 to 30 percent more space uh, they're looking at this and uh, largely the millennials who said well we're going to rent we don't want uh, fixed property we don't want to be tied down interestingly enough they're coming into the market all right and who are the sellers i mean why would you sell unless you absolutely have to sell when the property market is so down from that perspective. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting um, aspect, uh, Jane, that generally you don't find a balanced market. We're, we're seeing that at the moment where we have sufficient buyers coming into the market, sufficient sellers. So your sellers are people who are dealing with life-changing circumstances. Many of our sellers are, are in fact saying, look, let me sell now and upgrade. Mm. Uh, I can take a bit of money that I might have made, take my deposit, move on to my next property. If I had a two-bedroomed home, I can buy uh, a three-bedroomed. If I was living in an apartment, I can now move into a house uh, and take advantage uh, equally of the uh, lower uh, interest rates uh, at 7%. So what we're seeing is, is an interesting phenomena where it's not that you're dealing with desperate sellers. Look, any seller who puts their property on the market that's overvalued and overpriced isn't going to sell. Mm. But if they come on and they're listening to their agent and they get reasonably close to market value, there is a, a long line of buyers out there who are, who are going to pay, who are not going to overpay equally. They're, they're saying, right, we'll pay fair, uh, fair market value, but uh, we want to come into the market. We're and and other than coastal towns, which I believe are all booming at the moment where are people buying well this is one of the interesting things um, what we're seeing also is an increased pattern uh, of emerging uh, market buyers uh, black buyers who are coming through and saying right i want to live in more uh, secure more built up um, established uh, real estate areas so you're finding that movement not only at the coast but generally inland as well uh, and and we're seeing an, an upgrading of people moving into as I say, more desirable in established areas. Well, good news indeed. Sanya, always good to talk to you. Thank you for that.